past seven months, 28-year-old Danil has tested negative on two pregnancy tests and thought she was getting her period every month. She has experienced no unusual symptoms, except for a slight 10-pound weight gain. I have no cravings. I know no feel nauseous. Now, Danil is in labor in the bathroom of a fast food restaurant where she works, and she didn't even know she was pregnant. Danil's 16-year-old co-worker, Janae, has called 911. I was so shaky and so weak, I wasn't able to move. Amazingly, without any medication, Danil vaginally delivers a silent six pound, five ounce baby boy. I didn't want to move and then him fall because his head might have hit the floor. The baby came out and it flew into the toilet. She wasn't too close to the toilet. We didn't hear anything, just a big plop. Is the baby in the toilet right now? Okay, tell her to pull the baby out of the toilet immediately. Get the baby out. We were all freaking out at that point, and one of the ladies that I work with had went and grabbed the baby out of the toilet. As we picked the baby up, it was just like wheezy. What I want you to do today is gently wipe off the baby's mouth and nose. Please, please, please. I didn't really say nothing. I was just too much in shock. I was really confused and embarrassed. Then wrap the baby in a clean, dry towel and cover the baby's head. Cover him up. He needs to be warm. Cover warm him up. Come use my shirt. Here, just cover him up with this. Or give it to me. Hurry. Okay, keep the baby warm. I've never seen something so scary. Just the look in the baby's face was just so scary, like trying to fight for air and trying to live. The umbilical cord was still attached. The 911 operator had told us that we need to tie off the umbilical cord so that the baby could breathe. Without pulling on the cord, I want you to tie a string. Do you have a shoelace there? We need a shoelace string. I remember the baby was blue. But what am I supposed to do with it? Tie it around the umbilical cord? We had gotten a shoelace, and I was telling them where to tie it. All right, I'm going to tie it around the umbilical cord. Okay, tie it around right, the umbilical cord. around the umbilical cord. In the meantime, Danil is delirious with pain and in dire need of medical attention. I felt really dizzy, like I was going to faint. I was losing quite a bit of blood. There's just blood everywhere. The paramedics arrived just as Danil's co-workers finished tying off the umbilical cord. When the paramedics got there, they cut the bulk of cord. One guy grabbed him up and was trying to get all the blood out of his lungs. When they were moving her, the afterbirth came out. One of the paramedics had to rub my stomach because I was gushing blood. It's going to be just fine, Dan. I'll hang in there. Can you give me oxygen, please? Okay, give me suction. The hospital staff assessed the newborn at two months premature. I carried him six and a half to seven months. And with no prenatal care, he could be at risk for any number of complications. When a baby is born two months early, the baby may experience respiratory issues, intestinal issues, neurologic developmental problems, in addition blindness. Danil indulged in some risky behavior over the past few months. My friends and I, we used to go out to the clubs. We used to go dance. When I did go out, I wish I didn't drink. Even mild drinking during pregnancy can put the baby at risk for having developmental disorders later in life. The neonatal staff work to stabilize the newborn while another team attends to Danil. I get a call telling me my daughter had a baby at work in the bathroom. I uh, left me speechless. She had hemorrhaged a lot. She was very anemic. They had to do uh, blood transfusions. Luckily, two weeks after the dramatic birth, both Danil and her son Austin are healthy enough to go home. <sighs> Is this yours? Yeah. Do you want to hold him? Yeah. Congratulations. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> so how could Danil not know she was pregnant? How does she not know she's pregnant? I don't know. I'd be confused. It's pretty much how everybody is. Reactions from the other family members were total shock. 
how could that be? Some people ask me, how did you not know? Looking back, I probably stopped taking my birth control pills. Women oftentimes will forget to take a pill during their month, and that's gonna put you at an increased risk to get pregnant. <sighs> How is it that Danil tested negative on two pregnancy tests a few months before she gave birth? The pregnancy test doesn't turn positive until the woman is four weeks pregnant, dated by her last menstrual period. In Danil's case, she may have taken the pregnancy tests too early. Danil also believes that she had her monthly period throughout her pregnancy. I think the reason why I was still having my periods is due to stress. If a woman doesn't realize that she's pregnant, she may believe she's having her periods, when in fact she's having bleeding that has something to do with the pregnancy. Unlike her previous three pregnancies, this time Daniil only gained 10 pounds. My oldest, I gained probably 40. My middle, 50. My daughter, I only gained 20. During her previous pregnancies, she put on weight. She was complaining of back pains, her feet would swell. You could just tell, and on Austin, she just didn't have any of these symptoms. Every pregnancy is different. Not all women recognize the symptoms. Today, baby Austin is healthy and thriving, in spite of his harrowing arrival. This experience has changed my life. I was just really proud that the baby didn't die. I felt proud of what I did. I'm just glad he's here and he's safe. And when people talk about him, it's like, oh, he's my surprise visit, but he's here and I love him. But Austin <laughs> is not the youngest in Danil's family. Danil is pregnant with her fifth child. With this pregnancy, it feels like a real pregnancy. I'm getting my stomach, I've gained my weight. It's kind of nervous since Austin is still a baby, but I think I will do okay. Aww.